Okay, question five, another language question. Again, just look at the text for context. Other than that, just get straight into the question. Refer to line one, provide a synonymous phrase for on many fronts. On many fronts in various ways, aspects, spheres, different areas. Look, whatever it is. What is the function of the hyphen in re-evaluate? So the hyphen, it joins the prefix to the verb. It separates two vowels, so two E's re-evaluate. It also assists in pronunciation. Sorry, that was 5.1, 5.2. 5.3, rewrite the following sentence in the passive voice, in passive voice here. So let's start it with our like object at hand. So if something or someone doesn't bring you joy. So if joy is not brought to you by someone or something, then we just carry, we keep the same sentence as it is. So in other words, there's our subject, there's our object, we must swap them. So if joy is not brought to you by someone or something, it's pretty pointless uh, carrying on with it. Alternatively, this would have been fine. Um, you could have started with it's pretty pointless, so it's pretty pointless carrying on with it if joy is not brought to you by someone or something. But joy and if someone or something, they must swap. So this and this, they must swap. 5.4, remove the redundancy in paragraph one. Um, to be honest, there were two, like safe and secure and people and nation. Either go safe or, or the word secure. Safe and secure, that is tautological kind of speaking. We're just going to go with safe. Uh, thriving as, as people would have been fine and we drop the er, uh, or thriving as a nation. So there was a double tautology here. You could have picked uh, either. 5.5 referred to line 7 and 8 uh, in the process all the way to what is important. Correct the error of punctuation. So the error of punctuation is there. In the process, we earn more but live less. We lose our focus of what's important. So maybe a full stop here and capitalize the W. That's what I'm thinking because these are two completely separate ideas. So they deserve two sentences. Alternatively, you can use a semicolon because that also separates uh, different ideas. 5.6, a verb has been used incorrectly in paragraph 3. Uh, rewrite the sentence so that it is uh, grammatically correct. A verb has been used correctly here, so feel free to pause the video, try it on your own. Actually, a Concord error uh, with social media keeping up with other Instagrammers are having, is having a devastating effect. Are having a devastating effect. It's plural there, so that needs to become is. So basically, from are to is. 5.7, instead of multiple streams of soul sessions, Travel more and connect with people and places that bring you joy. That's coming from lines 12 to 13. Uh, replace a word in the above sentence with a homophone that is contextually correct. Uh, so soul sessions, soul, like, you know, just one person, like a soul trader, or soul, like, you know, your, your soul, the essence of your being, so like that. Not soul, you know, like the capital city of South Korea. That's different, but not really. Uh, 5.8, provide the correct form of the word real in line 10. Everything appears to be real perfect. Uh, yeah, you look real good. Uh, it should actually be rarely. Okay, that's very like American kind of English. Choose the most appropriate response from the list of alternatives below. Everything appears to be real perfect, but the fabric of our society is frazzled. Uh, frazzled coming from lines 10 to 11. Uh, that's an example of a what? Look, everything appears to be real perfect. That can stand alone. The fabric of our society is frazzled. Okay, these are two complete thoughts, like these sentences can stand alone. Therefore, it is going to be a compound sentence. It would be complex if we had an independent and dependent clause. Dependent clause cannot stand alone. It needs the other clause to make sense. So the answer there by default is going to be compound. It's not a simple sentence. Simple sentence, you know, it's going to be very basic. 5.10 uh, refer to line 11. Use the word stock as a verb in a full sentence. So stock, use it as a verb. We need to stock the shelves after a few of the products have been sold, like stocking the shelves, you know, like just repacking stock. Yeah, something like that. Use it as a verb, a doing word. Okay, nice little question.